Ich äh, bin hier gerade wohl schon direkt in der Cutscene gelandet, zumindest lädt es gerade. Ja, ich dachte erst, die nächste Tür wäre die Cutscene. Aber gut, wir sind beim Thronraum angekommen. Lilith! You've come for the Rageleys and Porsche? Return to them to us now. Shameless, willful child. You are intruding upon a private moment. Have you no concept of propriety? What? I was just in the midst of a most pleasant regaling. Of the true future so callously branded as dark and the fraudulent bright future whence you, f whence you came. Fraudulent future? Oh, you truly had no idea? This is deliciously rich, coming from a champion of the dawn. Then do listen in, for there is much you are bound to learn. Am I not right, Kate Sith? You simpleton, you claim to have come from the future, yes? If so, share with all, all, with all present what you know of the Crystal War. How it concludes, for instance. Hey, who are you calling a simpleton? Um, uh -huh. Having... Um, gained a uh, momentum in their landmark victory of at the Battle of Juno, the Allied forces um, marched on Sakabad. There they um, encircled and laid siege to Castle Swal, the Beastman stronghold in an operation ha held by Rachelis Sp Boloma of the Kingdom of Sandoria. After which the heroes of the um, five races of Altana c confronted and fell the Shadow Lord in the final encounter. <laughs> a school child, half of your years could have woven a more compelling fairy tale. W what? Only in a dream could a ragtag pathetic excuse for a military alliance hope to overcome the Shadow Lord. Your kind might try for a thousand years and not once succeed. The Crystal War was always a hopeless cause. One who stands among us has recently been made to keenly realize this fact. The, then how do you explain how the allies prevailed against the confederate in your future? Why? The answer is remarkable simple, remarkably simple. It's because your vanadil is an illusion. A word fabricated by that deceitful cat at Altana's behest. In other words, make believe. K Kate Sith? What what is she saying? Uh, how I hoped it wouldn't come to this. The situation demands that I reveal to you the truth. Disclose all. Listen then to what really happened, how history unfolded. It was the year 863. The Allied forces of Altana amassed on Zakabad and commenced the siege on Castle Swal. But the might of the Beastman Confederate proved insurmountable, too great to overcome. 
The besiegers were quickly overwhelmed by those they had sought to smite, and were dealt a sound thrashing at the hands of the Shadow Lord, nigh obliterated. Not dissimilar, dis, dissimilar to the current situation. This crushing defeat was the beginning of the end. From the Middle Lands, the hands of darkness reached forth, seizing all in its cruel grip. Arashida, Old Syria, even Rasova, far to the north. And after the next, they fell to the armies of darkness. Under the one after the next, they fell out under to the armies of darkness under the Shadow Lord's reign. The Age of Darkness persisted for some time. What rebel survived living in despair and squalor under the tyrannous rule of the beastmen? But there were so those who kept the fire of hope smoldering. They bided their time and gathered strength that they might rise up to reclaim that which had been reft from them. These men and women are my kindred spirits, and I, the one chosen to lead them. But no ambition, regardless of its gravity, warrants the path they choose, cannot be justified. Were, whatever did they do? In order to fight on even ground with the Shadow Lord, they forged an unholy pact with the Dark Divinity became the very thing they sought to destroy. The end justifies the means. We choose to accept the gift of immortality that we might ever continue our struggle in this unending conflict. It, it cannot be. Honor to stand before you again, Sir Ragelys. Larsos? But what about our future where the Crystal War was won? Seeing her beloved Vanadil reduced to a wasteland of death and devastation, the goddess Altana grieved so, shed many, of te many a tear. That these tears carried her wish that Vanadil might know peace. A wish that manifested itself as my regal kin and I, the Cates. And then? For our first act, we roused the ten slumbering Atomos. Uh, then, the then slumbering Atomos. And then traveled through the corridor of time bearing a single objective to plant the seed of a vanadil free of the tidal wave of tears, lessen the suffering. With the pro uh, prophesied champion of the dawn at our side, we hope to slowly but surely after the course uh, alter the course of history. Our preferred reality would prevail and displace the one of strife and chaos, which Atomos would then devour, swallow whole. But then the enemy became aware of the plan, caught wind. They too returned to the past in an attempt to assure their continued existence. The tug of war between two realities has entailed um, the mess before you the chaos of which you bear witness. Huh. A story as foolish as it is long-winded. Now do you see? Our Vanadil is the sole true future. Yours is but a sham that owes its existence to, its to the selfish whim of an, an irresponsible deity. By rights, it shouldn't even exist. Is all of this true? Yes, I am afraid so. And 
It never crossed your mind that you ought to tell us? The knowledge was um, highly classified, strictly confidential. It was for the best that people were kept none the wiser. Out of the loop. So the memories of my childhood, of mother and father, myself, they were all just lies? No, don't you believe that for an instant. Perish the thought. But if I am not an illusion like the, she says, then what exactly am I? You must believe me, trust in my words. You are no less real than Lilith um, and her minions. A push to action here, a shove of encouragement there. That was the extent of our involvement, the Kate's role. The future itself, however, was born from the hands, hopes and dreams of the children of Altana. Give no credit to the notion that your lives and memories are make-believe. You mustn't allow your resolve to waver, for that's exactly what the enemy's dis enemy desires, the weakness you seek to exploit, they seek to exploit. But, but... This number's fast will keep. This mama's fast will keep. Master shall soon grace us with the presence, and we must be ready to receive him. Wild women, detestable fench, wench, what do you mean to do them? To do to them? We haven't the patience nor the blind conviction to await salvation by some pretty, pity deity. We mean to reclaim the future with our own hands. To this end, we have acquired vessels to house the power of gods. Oh, almighty dark divinity, great Odin, devourer of light. The dark divinity? You have nothing to fear. To those sworn to dark divinity, the astral wind is but a gust that sets up one's hair to dancing. The mark of you bear on your chest is proof positive of your allegiance to him. The cry of a mortal soul is that which calls forth the dark divinity, for it is the profoundest depth of emotion, those tempered in the forge of suffering, that he looks upon with favor. Grief, rage, rancor, and finally, love. Odin judges the worthiness of all who come before him. Vessels made of the strongest flesh, whose souls seethe with unbridled desire. It is through them that we shall attain a greatest power. Now forge the pact, and with it the seeds of all fruitland futures shall be eradicated. In ages past I oft journeyed to the boundless ether to pay visit this emerald isle. Art thou he, he who hast summoned me? 
speak thy mind. I come before you, a man ostr ostr was sind das heute für Wörter? ostracized by his own, bereft of a place where to I might return. Fate has uh, decreed that I must fight unto death. I beseech you, dark divinity, grant me power to equal of the, uh, to equal of the Shadow Lord, that I might sate my rage. I am so proud of you, father. Please forgive us our many dis, uh, courtesies, my lord. Guiding you on the right path necessitated our action. Father? Quite so, my lord. For it was in your union with Matron Portia that Lady Lilith was conceived. Father, Mother, am I not the daughter you had always envisioned? Superior in every conceivable way to that undersized, dim witted slip of a girl? Say that you agree, and I shall take that as leave to rid us of her. Elvip, Lily said. Lady Lilith wishes all due privacy for her long-awaited family reunion. Those who would trespass shall be made to sorely regret it. Family reunion? What rot! Grr, this is making me really, truly mad! You spitwardens will rue the day you put me into such a full mood. Okay, das bedeutet, wir haben jetzt gleich einen Kampf. Ach nee, Moment, ich muss ja erst... Halt, 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 halt. Ich bin noch am Anfang von dieser Area. Ich muss ja noch hinten in den Thronraum. Was ist denn eigentlich? Gehen wir mal wieder diese lange Brücke entlang. Und ich bin jetzt mal gespannt. Ich gehe da wirklich jetzt mal blind rein. Ich habe den zwar schon mal gemacht mit meinem Main-Charakter, aber... Ähm, mal schauen. Was da jetzt alles auf mich zukommt. Your spite wardens will rue the day you put me into such a fool mood. Okay. 
wir holen unsere Trucks raus. dass äh, Lilith nicht sterben darf. Wir haben auch gleich hier alle Okay, Gesche ist schon wieder wach. Okay. Also würde ich sagen, Hot Rail muss zuerst angegriffen werden. Vielleicht war es auch Pech, dass die direkt mit Sleep begonnen haben. Das weiß ich jetzt nicht. So. Ah, gut. jetzt. So. Okay. Ich hoffe, dass ich jetzt sofort wieder rein kann, aber da war jetzt glaube ich kein Key-Item, das ich diesmal verliere und nur einmal am Tag neu holen kann. sofort wieder rein. Sehr schön. Ich muss also nicht warten. Zumindest schon mal nicht mit einem äh, allgemeinen Sieg. Das ist doch schon mal gut.
Allajajajaj, das ist ja echt heftig hier. Okay, das schaffe ich auch nicht, weil mein Heiler ist tot. Wow. Okay, ich glaube, ich muss mal doch erstmal einen Guide gleich durchlesen. Das ist ja heftig. Wer hat denn... Okay, Aquila hat sich nicht gecastet. Okay, das bedeutet doch Aquila zuerst. Okay. Okay, ja genau. Aquila, Aquila macht die heftigen Sprüche. Ich hatte wahrscheinlich nur Pech dass Aquila als allererstes Lieb gekostet hat. Okay. Dann... Würde ich aber sagen, das war's für heute. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal, wenn wir das wieder versuchen. Bis dahin, macht's gut!